there, I'm Meredith Noble, co-founder of the Global Grant Writing Collective, where we help moms like yourself become well-paid grant writers so you never have to go back to the nine to five and can maintain that schedule flexibility that I know you need in your life. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about how do you actually break into this if you have no experience and you've got littles at home. I'm gonna give you some examples of how other moms have done it so you can see a path for yourself. And finally, I'll give you your next 40 minute homework assignment that'll help you know exactly what next steps to take if this is something you wanna pursue further. Okay, so with that, let's hit it. All right, full disclosure, I'm not a mom yet, but will be soon, which is making filming this video a little bit challenging to be completely real with you, but I'll save you from the TMI with too many details. But know that the majority of the people that are in the Global Grant Writing Collective are moms or cool dads. So there's a lot of examples of people that are pulling this off because you realize that you need schedule flexibility. It doesn't make sense to afford childcare anymore. If really it's about the same as your take home pay, you're just not gonna go back to a nine to five but need to and want to make some money. You wanna show your kids, all of you, not just mom, but who is mom as a professional, right? And so this is an amazing way for them to see what it's like for you to be making a difference in your community, not just in your household. I am using the word mom a lot, but I want you to recognize that we also have a lot of really cool dads. So while I'll continue to use the word mom, Please be aware that honestly, we have a lot of really cool parents in the program. We just tend to mostly attract mothers. So before I get ahead of myself, what exactly is grant writing? If this is something you've never touched before. So grant writing is when you help an organization get money that they don't have to pay back for a charitable cause. So an example would be, Let's say you help the Boys and Girls Club get a grant to do some programming for youth over the summer and they don't have to pay that back and it's serving your community. That would be an example of you writing a grant to get money for a great cause. Grant writing is about communication and coordination, which are two things you're very good at as a mom. So guess what? You already have the skill set required to do this work. So how do you break into this field with no experience? Drum roll, please. Okay, first thing is you land a couple contracts doing a paid funding strategy. Hold up, I know you don't know what a funding strategy is yet. I'm gonna walk you into that. Okay, so I'm gonna shift here so that you can actually see this diagram pop up. So first things first, step one is the organic networking framework. We are going to do, reach out to organizations to see, hey, do you need help figuring out what grants to go after? And if so, cause often they do, I'm telling you, they're either not going after them at all or it's totally haphazard. You're gonna say, oh, Oh, wow, they have a need. I could help you put together a funding strategy. A funding strategy is a 12 to 18 month roadmap where you recommend the specific grants they should go after that give them the highest likelihood of winning and return on investment. So instead of throwing every grant at the wall and seeing what sticks, we're focusing on the select few that actually are gonna give you the best bang for your buck because no one's time is free. So once we know what grants to pursue, let's say we've got five on the list, now we can amend our contract and implement the funding strategy in terms of now let's go write those grant applications. So you would charge for a funding strategy anywhere from $2,000 on the low end to three or 4,000. Yes, as a beginner, we're charging eight to 10 to 15,000. So let me tell you, they're still getting a good deal. So once you've charged, let's say your 3K for a funding strategy, and now you know the five grants to go after, you're amending that contract to then write the grant applications. So you don't know what it's gonna cost until you know what you're going after. Is it a simple application? or is it a really big complicated one? So there's a number of different ways that you can contract doing a retainer or just doing a big lump sum fee that you bill against and that's stuff we can talk about later. Just know that it's not that hard. And then once you have that contract, boom, you've just turned that 3K into like a 30K contract. Not bad, right? Not bad for someone that's never done any grant writing before. Okay. So if you think about this, this is a cycle. More informational interviews you do, more opportunities you create for yourself, more funding strategies you do, more grants you can write, right? So really cool cycle. Then once you've made your 15K in revenue, now I want you to set up a legit business, right? Like you're gonna now glow up. We're not just freelancing it and calling it sole proprietorship. It's actually gonna become an LLC. And I'll show you all of the steps of how you're gonna set up your business literally in three days. It's not rocket science either. You're a mom, you've done hard things before. And then you can continue to scale your business from there to 50K, 100K, 250K. Heck, if you wanna become a million dollar business, I'm here for it. So you might be thinking, how long does it take to get momentum? So obviously it depends on a couple of factors 
right? Are we doing this alongside a full-time job and it's a total, total side hustle? Or is this something that you've got a little bit more time to put into? You can become certified in 90 days and land your first paid gig. But the only caveat I wanna bring up is if you have littles at home under age five, because then you're trying to cram in work on nap time and don't get me wrong, I've seen it happen. Some moms that can move mountains, that's why we don't bill hourly, cause y'all can pull off in one hour what most people in an office take eight to do, okay? but recognize that it's a different scenario for you. And I want you to be gentle with yourself. You're gonna find a lot of other moms with little kids that kind of have grouped up and supported each other versus maybe your kids are out of the home and you're just trying to figure out what's my next career move, but you're not dealing with little kids at home. I like you to say, give yourself a full year to really find your step because most people, it's a little bit slow going for your first four to six months and then boom, you'll hit what I call the momentum flywheel. And you're like, whoa, everything's happening really fast. As an aside, one of my team members, Alexis, she's been writing grants and working with us for three three years. So she actually had a $50,000 a year consulting business running alongside, and she was working about eight to 10 hours a week with her little at home. So she wrote an amazing satire. It's funny, it's sassy, it's a great blog post. Be sure to check it out in the description below. Okay, so one of my favorite examples to share with you is Amani Ackerman. So she is an incredible gal that was writing grants part-time anyway, but really burning out at the agent she was, she was at and trying to figure out, okay, how am I gonna pull off actually making this switch to freelancing or working with an organization organization that's more energetically aligned. So she's been a member since August of 2021. She made back her money in 1.5 months. She's won $25 million in grants. The total you see here is 20, but I just saw in the community group that she just won another 5 million in federal grants. Absolutely incredible woman. What fires her up and what I just like have such a place in my heart for her is that she is very selective on the types of grants she's working for. She wants to heal this world, especially for issues surrounding our black and brown community. And I just love that she is relentless about making sure that the organizations she work with are value aligned. And honestly, that's how we actually make sure we're working with organizations that aren't soul sucking. She's learning grants while she's getting paid. She has said no to more full-time job offers than most of us would be like, just thrilled to even get that many job offers, but she said no so she could land with an organization that felt good. She has prioritized work-life balance and she ended up landing her dream grant writing consulting job exactly one year from after she did this informational interview. So recognize that that organic networking framework I'm gonna be talking about, it's kind of like chucking a boomerang and then the opportunity circles back. So anyway, you can go watch, I we can link that up below as well. There's actually a full interview with Amani and you can go listen to her speak, like she's an incredible woman. Okay, so here you can see a couple screenshots from within our community group. We are not on Facebook because, right? And we use circle, it's much better. So anyway, you can just pause me if you wanna actually read everything she said, but here's an example of how she read my favorite book of all time. We Should All Be Millionaires by Rachel Rogers. If you haven't read it, literally it's mandatory reading. I don't even wanna have a conversation until you've read it. It's so good. And then that really inspired her to make sure she was asking for enough in these interviews. Here's the next one where she ended up partnering with another member in the collective. She ended up hiring her to do editing. They worked as a power team because I'm telling you, I'm not great at math, but one plus one equals three when it comes to grant writing. I'm telling you, you work so much better than when you're not trying to do this all in isolation. Final piece I'm going to throw in here is a screenshot of those over $5 million in grants that she won, which is not shabby. So $5 million for workforce development in construction for underserved youth. So cool, like talk about huge impact. Okay, so wrapping it up, hot mama, let's really recap what I want you to take away from this. Number one, you don't have to have all the answers in the world. You don't need to know, am I gonna go land a new job or am I gonna freelance or is this gonna work out or am I gonna like it? Just take that pressure off of yourself. Come in with curiosity and an open heart and just say, maybe I'm gonna like this. I'm gonna give it a try. And if you come in with that attitude, you have absolutely nothing to lose. I'm gonna show you how to make money to decide if you like grant writing. So you're literally out nothing to just give this a try. And if you decide that grant writing is not your thing, guess what? You have modern project management skills. You learned some business and freelancing skills that frankly work for any business, whether it's wedding event planning, photography, like you name it. If you learn the fundamentals of business, you can apply it to any number of other sectors. I just wanna leave you with that in that please release pressure on yourself to have all of the answers and enjoy this process of exploration. Okay, so the next video that's gonna pop up is Unicorn Spotlight with Amani, so you can dive into her story a little bit more. And if you scroll down into the description below, you'll see a training on how do you break into this field, brand new, without any experience, and it's gonna go deeper into what we talked about today. All right, if you enjoyed this, hit the like and subscribe, add a comment. I love to hear what you have to say about this, and then I'll know what other videos you might want in the future. All right, that's it. Hope to see you later.